Eugene St. Lingo has put Bangalore one nil up and a hand on the trophy. <laughs> Uh, Baichung or Chetri? <laughs> That's a tough one. <laughs> What's up YouTube? So, today we are with our channel for India, a very talented football player. Eugene Sun, welcome to the show. Hi, man. It's an honor to have you here. I've been a footballer myself. So, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm recovering. So, okay. that's the only setback, but I'm very okay. positive right now. Okay. So guys, uh, Eugenson is recovering from an injury right now. Otherwise, we would have done a versus series, a powerlifter versus a footballer, which would be really fun. <laughs> so Eugenson, let's start with a set of questions. So we are here for the uh, launch of Tango League uh, India today. Okay. So what exactly this is? Can you just give a brief? Yeah, it's a very popular league that started in Europe and it's okay. gaining popularism all over the other footballing nations. You know. Okay. So and Adidas have done a really great brilliant thing by bringing it here to India and giving the kids the opportunity to play football at a platform where they okay. compete with each other. Okay. okay. So how do you think it will help uh, the budding footballers in India? This kind of football is very important because it keeps you aware, alert and okay. you're, the ball's always, you're playing in a very tight space and it helps mm -hmm. you with your awareness, with your technical ability so mm -hmm. eventually it will help in the 11 v 11 game. Okay. Uh, also guys, you'll be surprised to know that Eugenson was also an engineer once. He was studying engineering like a lot of us in India are doing. So uh, Eugenson, can you tell a little bit about your engineering days? So, okay. like any other Indian kid, you know, parents would force you to study. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, the only option was engineering. Uh, like, okay. I did, I was doing my science stream in my 12th. So, okay. my option was to do engineering. I thought that maybe I could follow my in the footsteps of my dad okay. but then it didn't seem like it okay. <laughs> so yeah but in, in college i was busy playing football then studying okay. so i represented the college team first then i represented the, the university okay so that is where it all happened you know mm -hmm. we went to the all india university tournament and then played too much football i <laughs> i got backlogs not that i got okay. backlogs okay. i feel all my exams and so okay. it was a blessing in disguise you know so <laughs> yeah, yeah that's how it all happened Okay, so how many bags you had in your college days? <laughs> oh, I'd say 11. <laughs> <laughs> how did you convince your parents, like a lot of uh, my viewers and a lot of our readers on Men's XP uh, message us that, okay, we want to pursue our career in sports and fitness, but my parents want me to do law, medical and engineering. So how did you do that? I won't say I convinced them, but they okay. knew that deep inside, as a kid, I wanted to play football, you know. Okay. But after I got my backlogs, I was more like, I was very cunning and mm -hmm. I would tell them that hey, I, I got a backlog, I have to stay here for one more year. Mm -hmm. But then on my back of my head, I wanted to play football. Okay. So I played for Arima then. Okay. So we played the second division, I League. Mm -hmm. And then Lajong came, so called me. Then I had the opportunity to play in the I League. Okay. So then my dad was like, okay, this is a good opportunity for him to go play. So mm -hmm. we can't hold him back, you know. Okay. So from there, it all just ticked up and everyone just forgot that I had quit engineering. So earlier when there was only I League, and now we have ISL and a lot of uh, you know stardom in football and a lot of limelight in football. So how do you say what's the difference in terms of uh, fame, uh, money, and uh, competitive uh, atmosphere in uh, the sport? Yeah, the I obviously the ISL has done a tremendous job. You know they have mm -hmm. promoted football drastically in India. Yeah. You can you can see that the changes the football scene in India. Mm -hmm. You can see kids following football not only following the. Mm -hmm. You know the Premier League or the La Liga, but now they're actually following the ISL mm -hmm. and even following the I League. So obviously, football is really, really improving. And credit to ISL and the Football Federation for doing a tremendous job. And like, we can see like people like us out of the way. You know, <laughs> we're in the limelight. So yeah, it's it's a tremendous job. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about your fitness regime. So of course, uh, we know that you spend a lot of time playing football. Apart from that. Uh, what else fitness regime do you have? Any strength conditioning? Yeah, we do have a lot of strength conditioning. Okay. This is all for prevention of injury, you know. Okay. So we do a lot of strength so that we avoid any muscle injury. Okay. Or you know, like there's a lot of stuff that mm -hmm. our core, our strength, our upper body has to be, you know. And because we play continuous matches mm -hmm. every now and then, so we have to be fit. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of strength conditioning with a lot of rehab, a okay. lot of recovery. So how much? Uh, how many hours a week you are doing strength training? Uh. It depends now. It depends on game to game, you know, how far our game is. If our game is like a week to week gap, then we at least do twice in a week. Okay. You guys squat? 
Yeah, we scored, but then okay. we don't score much because you know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, like uh, in the Indian team, who sports the heaviest? Indian national team. Okay. I would say Sunil is a Sunil. Sunil, Sunil is a gym, gym, He's a gym freak. Yeah. Okay. So he's one of them. What is your breakfast, pre-workout, and post-workout like? Pre- On a normal okay. day, I would have uh, or before training, I would have eggs. I would have oats. Okay. I have fruits. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. and then that's about it. And, and then uh, after okay. training, okay, we do have a protein shake. Shake. Okay. But then See, even footballers have protein shake. Protein shake uh, is not steroid. It's not gonna kill you. So yeah, kudos. So, <laughs> so yeah. we have a protein shake, and then okay. within an hour we have to eat mm-hmm. after training sessions. Within an hour, mm-hmm. so we have a lot of carbs, and mm-hmm. we have protein as, well. protein as well. And then so in the evening we just have light snack, you know, like fruits or okay. some dry fruits. Okay. And so we have early dinner, not heavy. Okay. And yeah, that's about it. So, and then I normally take a protein shake before I sleep as well. Yeah. Okay. Every day, we are trying to prove ourselves. Mm-hmm. What kind of uh, pressure footballers have? No, we have a lot. Like we have a lot of pressure. You know, like mm-hmm. let's say I'm in the first eleven, and there's another guy mm-hmm. who's on the bench who wants to prove himself. We have to fight for the next game, so we, okay. we have to prove. People think it's easy, but then mm-hmm. you know we're enjoying playing football. But then the amount of tension we have, mm-hmm. we also, we have to sleep on time, get mm-hmm. up on time. Yeah, have to have proper sleep. Sometimes mm-hmm. we have lack of sleep. And mm-hmm. we go train, we might get injured. Okay. Or that's, so that's quite a yeah. Yeah. So guys, uh, sleep is equally important for footballers as well. So how many hours of sleep you uh, get? Normally, I try to take eight hours of sleep. Okay. Minimum. <laughs> Minimum. Okay. Yeah, okay. The big question: uh, Messi or Ronaldo? <laughs> Questions we ask every every time, man. Okay. But I know they're two f- different football players. Mm-hmm. They are great in their own individual abilities. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm a Ronaldo fan. Ronaldo. I'll just say that, but I feel they're both great. Okay, uh, Baichung or Chetri? <laughs> That's a tough one. Okay, they've done both. They've done really great for our country. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I would say I would have a little upper edge on Sunil Chetri. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, he's he's improving it okay. year by year. You know, he's like yeah. Now he's obviously his goal tallies for national teams will increase, and this mm-hmm. year's ISL has done tremendously mm-hmm. well. You know. So yeah, he's up there, man. Okay. Favorite uh, international team? I like Argentina. Argentina. Your prediction for 2018 Russia? Uh, I'm Argentina fan, but as much as I, you know, want Argentina to win, but I still mm-hmm. feel that it's gonna be tough for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel it's either Germany, France, okay. Spain, okay. or Belgium. I think Belgium are a good team. Belgium. So guys, that's all for today. Uh, thank you so much, man, for being on my channel. So guys, we'll see you next time. Till then, keep lifting, keep playing the beautiful game. And subscribe to this channel. Peace.